Greetings, fellow traveling. Today, I want to remind you that there's nothing to change but self. If you're not particularly uh, pleased with what you see in your world, or what you see along the journey, there's no reason to use your energy, your power, to attempt to control things that are outside of you. The best thing that we can do for self is to acknowledge how we respond or react to certain situations and see if there's another choice that will yield the type of feeling that we desire. See, there's nothing that we can do that will allow the world to be as we 100% want it to be. And honestly, we utilize way more energy when we focus on things outside of us outside of our control. There was, at one point in my journey, there was a, a statement that some around me used to make. You're supposed to treat, or I apologize, you teach people how they should treat you. And at first, I thought that was correct. But after uh, further, you know, just ruminating on the idea, I said, no, nah, that doesn't make sense to me. See, if I'm responsible for how someone else treats me, then I'm taking on accountability and removing it from them. No, nah, it doesn't sit right. That's me utilizing power that I could be giving to myself and giving it to somebody else and making sure they don't even have to worry about the outcome. So instead of wasting my time attempting to teach people how to treat me, how about I treat myself as I want to be treated? When I came to that revelation, I saw a shift in those who used to preach that message to me. Because what I began to notice was that interacting with those people who move with that kind of ideology is they will maneuver their journey in a certain way or they would even uh, treat me or others a certain way. And if called out on their actions, there was no accountability. Either they were blind to it or they simply didn't care. That's okay. I mean, in the moment when I was still attempting to grasp the concept, I didn't think it was fine, but now I get it. It's okay. See, I was expending too much of my energy attempting to change something or someone outside of me. And for what? For what? And simply taking my power back and focusing on how I see the world, my world, I began to see things for what they were, not what I wanted them to be. I took off the rose-colored glasses. Game changer. Because it gave me a sense of peace within myself. And it allowed me to see people for not the idea of who I had created in my mind of them to be. But I got to see them for who they are. And as I used to hear when I was young, if it's spotted with a long tail, then it must be a leopard. So truthfully, step back in certain situations that you may feel are bringing about unwanted or unneeded stress and simply look at it for what it is. Don't say, oh, well, this person is a relative of mine or this person is a longtime friend of mine or this person is a co-worker or this person is a stranger. No, step back, look within, see what it is that you're expecting out of that person. Step back, look at the person, not for how you identify them as far as the positioning or the label that you put on them, relative, stranger, what have you, but see them as a, as a person, that's it. And then you begin to pay attention to the traits and you begin to let go of the idea of the person. See, it's the traits that we carry as individuals and that others carry that are 
sometimes still the tools of deception. By this, I mean, we see certain traits and because we're caught up in our ideas so much, we allow those traits to just get washed to the side. But when we pay attention to those traits and not the person, simply the traits, then we'll begin to see the tools of deception that others may use. And sometimes, whether we like it or not, we begin to see the tools of deception that we use as well. It's not always comfortable. It's not always easy, but it's a simpler approach. Now I'll tell you how many times I don't have all the answers. I can only tell you about the observations that I made along my journey. But in doing so, I've seen a lot more of my power come back to me when I'm accountable for my perception. And when I say be accountable for your perception, that's not to say we change your perception so this person is good in your eyes or this person is bad in your eyes. It's not about that. It's about reevaluating your own expectations of what you want to see. That's it. It's okay to have the same expectation, but by going within, you can realize that you want that expectation to be met by somebody that's not capable. Game change. It allows you to be honest with yourself. Have some truthful, honest reflection. Give yourself grace, forgiveness. And more importantly, don't forget. Because once you forget that you're most likely going to keep making the same mistake with the same individual. So you acknowledge that within your perception. You take that and you own that. And then you say, okay. I expected this out of this person, but they're not showing me the kind of traits that will yield that kind of outcome that will match my expectation. So you have one of two choices. Either you change your perception or you change the person or people that you're around to look for people that have more of those traits that will yield the outcome that you see or that you desire for not only yourself, but for others. It's not about getting caught up in the outside world. It's about knowing that the perception starts from within first. No matter what aspect of life. How we view the world is how we view ourselves. So if we step within, take a moment, go within. Think about how you speak to yourself. Pay attention to how you speak to yourself. Pay attention to how you treat yourself. Look how you treat others. Are you treating them better than yourself? Something to think about at times. We're not here to be perfect. Not at all. For myself, along my journey, I've realized more and more that it's not my job to teach people how to treat me. It's my job to be mindful of how I treat myself. And in doing so, not only do I build more power and more trust within myself and who I am, but it allows me to be unapologetic in the way that I maneuver through my journey. It allows me to be okay with those who like me, those who do not like me, those who uh, want to know me and those who don't want to know me. I've made peace with it. Now, it's not to say that it's always an easy interaction. Nah, it's not about that. It's about simply understanding where I'm coming from and knowing that how I'm received is not, it's not within my control. It truthfully has nothing to do with me because just as I operate in my power, the next person, just as you, operate in your own power. We all make our choices and there are outcomes that come with those choices. So stay true to your power, reflect on your power, see where you want that power, that spirit within you magnified and give more attention to that. But don't get caught up in the outside world because most of the time what you see, others won't perceive because we're all divinely unique in that aspect. But as you trust more within yourself without condemning others who are not like you, 
interestingly enough, you'll begin to understand them a little bit more, even if they don't understand it. I think that's a good place to leave it. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.